In this quick video, I want to show you how to prep your old Samsung Galaxy smartphone in order to get it ready for resale or if you're sending it back into the carrier, whether that's Verizon or T-Mobile, and they're sending you back another phone in replacement for a broken phone. And of course, you don't want to have all your browsing history on there, your, your videos, your banking history, and all that stuff. So you want to wipe it. So the very first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer all your videos and your photos from your phone, your Samsung Galaxy phone, to a laptop, a computer, or a MacBook. And then the second part of this video, I'm going to just show you how to wipe it and do a factory reset in order to, you know, before you send it in. So the first thing to do is very easy. You want to power the phone all the way off. And what we're going to do is we want to access the SIM and the SD card uh, uh, department. So you want to make sure that you don't have those two, two little cards in there because First of all, your SIM card is what is what you purchased from the phone company, Verizon, for example, and you want to put this in your new phone. So you want to make sure that that's out because that's what's communicating with the satellites. And the second part is an SD micro card. It depends on the, the phone, the exact Galaxy phone that you have, but you may have purchased that when you got the phone because it's got extra storage, whether that's 32 gigabyte or 256 gigabytes. Well, you don't want to give that to the new owner. You want to keep that for yourself. And you might have pictures and videos on that SD card. So you want to take both of those out. So on some Samsung Galaxy phones, it's on the top. Some it's on the side. But you want to look for something with a little pinhole on it. As you can see, mine's right here. And what you want to do is usually they your phone came with a little tool. But if not, if you lost it like most of us have, you're going to get a little small paper clip or a safety pin. And you want to push really hard into that little hole, and that's going to expose the compartment here. And as you can see there, that is where the SIM card went, and this is the SD card. Okay, so you want to take those out. Now, we're going to next go into the computer, into a desktop, and we're going to migrate the photos and the videos to the computer. If not, and you just want to get it ready for resale and wipe it, I'll show you how to do that, and I'll link it right here where you would do that, the timestamp. So next thing you want to do is you want to go on to your computer and we need to plug up our phone to the computer through the data cable. Okay, and then so I'm going to, I'm on Windows 10 for example, but it doesn't matter if you're on Windows 7 or what version or if you're on MacBook, it'll look a little bit different. So on the very bottom left here on the search on your Windows desktop, you want to type in in the search, you want to type in PC. That basically is your hard drive, your your hard drive of your computer. Um, older computers like Windows 7 will be computer. So I'm going to go ahead and type in PC and my phone should be connected. If for whatever reason you don't recognize your Samsung Galaxy phone over here, unplug it, replug it back in, or you might have to look on your phone and make sure you approve the data transfer because it will ask you on a lot of times on the phone, hey, you, do you approve with this? Again. So we're going to go ahead and click on it and then from here it's going to show us two compartments so right here it shows the phone this is the storage from the phone remember we're going to retrieve pictures and videos if you have the other if you have the SD micro card like I was telling you about that's still in the phone you go ahead and you have the card and so that's going to have a lot of your pictures and your videos as well so for example if we're getting the pictures and videos of the phone we'll go ahead and click phone now you'll find that the majority of your pictures and videos are going to be under these and David CIM, this folder right here, and then a large majority might be under download. So let's go ahead and click DCIM, and then that, and then we're going to click on camera right here. And then from camera, what, what you want to do is go, it's going to show you all your pictures. So what you can do is you can select all of them by holding down the shift button and then just arrowing down as you're holding down the shift button at the same time and you're going to drag them into a folder onto your desktop if you've never created a folder on your desktop on windows it's very easy the only thing you have to do is just go somewhere on the desktop and and then you want to um, left click and then you want to uh, create new and then you click folder so for example this one i'm saying walking and what i want to do is i want to go back to my C drive that I showed you earlier and I'm going to select the photos and I'm going to drag them onto the 
onto the to the new folder. So I'm getting all the pictures off of my phone onto a desktop or computer. Okay, and then when we choose to do a factory reset, it's going to wipe all those pictures and videos out off automatically. So let's go and go ahead and show you how to do a system restore and wipe out a Samsung Galaxy phone. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're powered all the way down. And what you're going to do is you, while it's powered down, you're going to hold the power button and the up volume button at the same time. Now, some Samsung Galaxies, it might be on the on the left side. This particular model, it's an A13. It's the power button, the power button, and the up volume button at the same time. You might have to hold it for 20 seconds. So go, let's go ahead and hold that down for 20 seconds. It's going to take us to a little screen that looks like BIOS. It's going to have little small writing on there like blue and red and purple. So as you can see here, it's taking us to this screen. So what we're going to do is you're going to use your volume up and volume down button to navigate. And I'm going to go all the way down to where it says wipe data and factory reset. It says if your phone is reset, you may to enter the Google account information, blah, blah, blah. So wipe data and factory reset. And then what we want to do to approve that we're going to hit the power button once to approve it. And then what's going to happen is it's going to take you to a screen that says cancel or factory data reset. So I'm going to use the volume down button to go to factory data reset and then hit the power. Now factory data reset, go ahead and hit the power button twice again real quick. And then it's going to say this cannot be undone, etc., etc. So go ahead and click factory reset, data reset, and then reboot system now. That should take you through, and then your phone should be ready to, to, to resell or to send back to the, to the phone carrier. All right, appreciate you watching. You! You! Come here! You! Yes, you! I need your help. Come here. You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got, what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100. I need you. Please, you, to subscribe. You think... My subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100000 I need. I visualize. I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button, and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please subscribe.